So I have three questions for you, and I'd like you, if you would please, to raise your hand if you agree with these questions. So my first question is, do you have smart leaders in your organization? If you do, raise your hand, please. If you don't, we need to talk. Okay. Second question, do those leaders have lots and lots and lots to do and aren't looking for something else to do? If so, raise your hand. They're busy, right? And thirdly, do they have good intentions in the people space if they do raise their hands? Okay? So therein lies one of the challenges that you have and that I experience every single day in this world of engagement. Because we have very smart leaders who are extremely busy and they have really good intentions. But reminder number one that you already know is we judge ourselves by our intentions, everybody else judges us by our actions, right? Seeing is believing. And so trying to get some behavioral change in leaders who are really busy, smart, and have a wonderful HR department sometimes is a challenge. Sustainability means that you can meet the current needs without sacrificing the future. If you work on engagement, you can meet some of those tough things right now, but you can set yourself up for a really positive future. Because people are going to want to stay and give you more, not go as soon as the economy improves. The second thing is high performance. Work on those business correlations so that people understand it's a competitive advantage when you do it well. It's not just a score on a survey. That's where so many people have fallen short. And then third, remember that employee engagement is a fuel. You want the best fuel, you want a full tank, and when you use that fuel, you want to replenish it. Because if you've got a great strategy, and your GPS tells you where to go, and you have an absolutely well-tuned engine with all those processes and culture, and you got leaders ready to go, your organization and your vehicle is not going to go very far if there's no fuel.